I am an aromantic, and I'm too scared to tell my parents. Before I tell my story, I feel like I should explain what aromantic means. An aromantic is basically somebody who doesn't seek a romantic relationship with other people. They're satisfied with friendships and platonic relationships and experience little or no romantic attraction to others. That's me. I first realized I was aromantic roughly in my freshman year of high school. While my friends would gush about their crushes and how much they longed to date them, I just felt confused. I got that they wanted to romantically involve themselves with their crushes, like any other person does, but I didn't understand why they needed to make a big deal out of it. Truthfully, I had a hard time relating to their emotions, finding myself satisfied with my friendships and never pursuing romance. It can be really tough, especially when people confess their feelings for me. It's hard to explain to them that I can't reciprocate their feelings. It's not you, it's me. It sounds like a cliche excuse. Most people wouldn't understand, so I rarely tell anyone about it. By the end of freshman year, I found the term aromantic through searching about it online. God bless Google. And it was a relief. Having no interest in or desire for romantic relationships, I couldn't be the only one who felt this way. Hooray! But would my parents understand? You see, my parents hold somewhat traditional views. They were both born and raised in South Korea, and it was with those views that they were able to build themselves up to where they are today. In America, my dad works as a professor at a respectable university, and we live in a district that values education highly. My brother and I were expected to have successful careers, fall in love with the opposite sex, get married, and produce grandchildren. My brother is on that path. He's a normal guy and has had multiple relationships before, but I've never felt the need for romance in my life, ever. What am I gonna do? I remember when gay marriage was legalized. My heart sank when it took my parents weeks to accept it. I revealed to them that I was friends with people who are part of the LGBTQ community, and it was so hard for them to understand. Over time, and with much explaining from me and my friends, they finally came to terms with it. All the while, I'm thinking, how could they possibly understand me? I don't like boys or girls. It was sometime during the summer, and I was having a chat with my mom, who seemed to be the more accepting one of my parents. I was telling her about romantic orientations, like demi-romantic, bi-romantic, and aromantic, in order to prepare her for the news that I was aromantic. Everything seemed fine as she nodded along. Then I explained what aromantic meant, and she frowned and scrunched up her nose. I looked at her, confused at her displeased reaction. They're like a table, she told me. No emotion. A table? No emotion? It broke my heart to hear her say that ironically. I nodded, excused myself from the conversation, called my friend, and cried. How could she say something like that? To hear her unintentionally compare me to a table was just heartbreaking. It felt like she was rejecting a part of who I am, a part I had spent years trying to figure out, agonizing over, and feeling ashamed of. How could I possibly think of coming out to her, much less my father after that? How could I explain it to them, much less bear the disappointment in their eyes? I still haven't gained the courage to talk about romantic orientations again, much less come out to them. But over time, I have accepted being aromantic as part of who I am. It has its advantages. I get to keep many of my friends who are in serious relationships. Their partners understand that I don't have a secret motive or something like that. Also, I have very little drama to worry about compared to my peers. Some of the breakup fights I've witnessed my friends go through have been shocking. 
I don't have to deal with any of that drama. To all those who feel the same way I do, you're not alone. There are other aromantics out there who have no interest in romantic love. The people you love the most may not understand you, but that issue can mend over time. Even though my mom's words stayed with me for a long time, time can heal. Perhaps someday I will regain the courage to try again.